Right, welcome back once again to Scum, as usual. Um, not as usual, we're on a new server. <laughs> um, it's very similar to the one we were just playing, but um, there's a little bit more loot. Uh, I really like the hardcore, really hard to find stuff aspect of the other server, and I really like the people on it, we play it a lot. But uh, it's really hard to make videos with it um, when I don't have a lot of time, which I don't. I work full time, you know, so I don't really have a ton of time to devote to this. But uh, you know, when you don't have a lot of time to devote to this kind of thing, it's really hard to get any kind of loot and make a video or do any kind of exploring because we're just constantly scraping <laughs> for the basics. So, um, yeah, we'll try this out. It's... it's uh, 1.5 times loot, so it's just a smidge over vanilla. So um, it should give us a little bit easier of a go. Um, but the puppets and everything are pretty much exactly as the other server. Um, very dangerous, lots of them, and they'll smack you into oblivion. So yeah, let's check it out. I think I saw an airport up here, just up the road. And there seems this server seems to be pretty active too. I mean. I'm, as usual, my brain is all over the place, but that person in the chat kind of reminded me. There seems to be a lot more activity on this server than the last one. So, maybe we'll end up uh, running with some people <laughs> or something like that, you know? We'll see. Hopefully things change up. Yeah, there's, a, there's an airport up here I want to check out. Maybe I'll make a bow first. Probably not. <laughs> now we got to make a bow first. Let's do it. Let's find a nice cluster of bushes and make sure we get the basics down before we go running in. Where potentially lots of puppets may be. So yeah, let's do that. Alright. So, I learned my lesson last time. We sacrificed our jacket for the cloth to make a, a bag. Um, we're a little chilly now because of that, but it's not a big deal. Uh, we should be able to find some kind of shirt or jacket or something in pretty short order, I would think. Um, even if I have to take something off a puppet just to stave the cold off, we'll end up doing that. But I'd much rather have a bag and have somewhere to put arrows and stuff and be ready. Be ready for anything, which we now are. You can now take on the puppets at a distance. I mean, you can melee them with the axe and it's pretty good, but uh, I don't know. If you're not really good at it, and I'm not, you Sometimes you can mess up the timing and they can smack you and it's not good. It's just not good. Yeah, so so those of you who have been watching the channel for a while, long time, know that I recently had to replace my PC because the old one just got it was getting way too tired to to handle recording and stuff, so I had to move on from it. And uh so I'm on a whole new system, and, you know, there's a little bit of growing pains with it. And one of them is going to be my audio. So you might notice in this video that, for a little bit anyway, my audio is going to sound a little, probably a little robotic, for lack of a better term. It's going to sound strange. And that, the reason for that is it's finally air conditioner season here in the States. Uh, the humidity is up, the heat is up. And I'm a sissy. I hate being hot. So I am running an air conditioner in the background. And that requires me to use noise-canceling software. Um, it's AI-driven noise-canceling software. So uh, it has to kind of learn my voice and learn the background noise and, you know, how to deal with that. So on the old system, we had it pretty well trained. But uh, we're starting over with this one, obviously, so... Hopefully the quality's not too bad. DOS Airport. Oh. I thought there was only one puppet. There are several. It's so weird having a reticle. Damn, bro. Any shots you gonna take? So weird. Oh. 
Who we missed? It's so strange having a that little dot. It's amazing. Easy mode. <laughs> of course, I'm rusty as hell. Let's put that on just for a minute, just to kind of kind of stave the cold off a little bit. In the noggin. I really like the uh, the airports in this. I can't wait till the planes are back because that's one thing that we never really got to do uh, before they went away. So I'm really interested to try that out. It'd be nice to have a plane fly from airfield to airfield or maybe even set it down in a field somewhere. All that kind of thing, you know. That'd be sweet. Hello. See, so the loot isn't, isn't crazy yet, right? We're getting, like, pens and stuff like that. It's not like, oh, my God, just found a AK-47 in the, in the garbage, you know? <laughs> so it's, I think it's going to be challenging, but not over-the-top challenging. Should be good. I'm excited. New things are always exciting anyway. And I think... I'm not sure, but I think cars spawn on this server as well. So we do actually have a chance of finding a vehicle, too. Pressure dressing. So that'll be good. It's all kinds of little stuff in these offices, in these airports. Especially out in the hangar itself. Do I want those? No, nah, we gotta be conservative with our Oh, we'll, I will take the vitamins, though. I'm going to be conservative with our looting here. Until we have some more storage. Oh, I'm also getting over, like, a pretty bad cold. So, I might uh, I might sound a little funny because of that, too. And I have to stop and expel fluids <laughs> every once in a while, so. Because all the horrors of the... Ailment. Oh, look at that screwdriver. <laughs> oh, I got it. Sound like a little girl right there. All, all the horrors of my ailment are breaking up and making their way out. Not to get gross, but what in the world? Okay. Spoke too soon about over the top loot, didn't I? Nah, that's not bad. A couple screwdrivers isn't a big deal. Is that, is that a thing? What is that? I've never noticed that before. It's like a no, seriously, what is that? Huh. What? In the comments, what the hell is that? Dude, nice kicks. Freaking weird, man. Okay, kitchen. Get some food, maybe. Did I search all these? These are, I think each one of these, even these little boxes is something, right? It's not just the big ones. Yeah, there's some more bolts. Bolts and nails we want to be grabbing. We're going to need to get ourselves a base going pretty soon. So in this server, um, you're not allowed to break into people's bases. Oop. Really jittery this morning. <laughs> You're not allowed to break into people's bases, but if they leave them unsecured in such a way that they can uh, overtake your flag or get access to the inside of your base, they're free to take what they want. So we'll have to be careful about how we build our base going forward from now on. We're going to make sure our flag isn't somewhere that can be accessed, and we'll have to make sure... That there aren't any, like, little cracks and stuff for people to weasel into, you know? There's a booty on that calendar. Big old booty in your face. Good morning. Oh, that's... That could be good. If we needed to break into something, but I have the, the lock picks, so... 
There are inappropriate pictures everywhere. Oh, hat. Ooh, mask. <laughs> oh, better hat. I like green better than yellow. Up it. I think they fixed the puppet audio uh, with that last update. Yes, they did. That's so much better. They were so loud before. It sounded like they were right on top of you, no matter where you were. That is so much better. All right, no clothing in the big hangar, which is kind of a bummer. Still got... Oh, that, I thought that was going to be a headshot. That was a miss. We still got uh, a few more buildings to go through, so maybe we'll get something. Backpack or jacket or two would be nice. May as well just drop that. I don't even need that. <laughs> Can't even use it anyway. Puppet eyes sell for 75. Uh... Scumbucks, I guess? Dollars? Still not sure what to call them. I think the devs call them scumbucks. But anyway, yeah, you can sell those. What is that? A tourniquet? Oh, it's in my hand. See, it's the kind of thing I don't really want to drop. CD player. Look at all these screwdrivers. Can you imagine, like, searching this whole place just for screwdrivers, not finding any, and then coming over here and they're just sitting on a table and you can't touch them? All right, we gotta... What did we do with the tourniquet? We just dropped it, didn't we? Seriously, where'd it go? Huh. Okay. Yeah, we gotta get some more storage here. Was that gunpowder? Yep. Just some gunpowder. Buddy ho. Quick. Quick, clear sweep. Huh, nobody here. Interesting. Ooh. That is a box. An entire box. Of nails. Ugh. It's two slots, though. Well, okay, let's do this. Taking hands. <laughs> Something funky's going on. Take out. Let's take out um, a whole stack of them. Oh, he drops it on the floor. Eight, nine, ten. Okay. That way we at least have a whole stack. Because I am going to leave those there for now. They're a bit beat up. That is a really good pair of pants. Either way, it's more, a couple more slots than what we had, so. Very useful. At least it's something, right? Is that it for this little building? I got everything? I think so. Can you tell I come here a lot? <laughs> Thank God for video editing. I've been having so many coughing fits today. It's terrible. Watermelon seed bag. Hmm.
<laughs> I was trying to open that box over there. Derp. Come on, hiking bag at the first location we stop at. <laughs> now that would be OP. All right, let's do a sit rip. So we got a bunch of useless junk. Well, except for the nails and stuff. Those aren't useless. Uh, we got no food. No water. We're hungry now. Where the hell are we? Ah. All right. So I think our best bet is probably going to be to go west. Because there's not much out here. There's food, kind of. But uh, we should run into... If that's a city, that's a city. That's a cool city, too. Like, a lot of people don't really go there. It's not really a city. It's like a big town. We could go here, probably. Eh, I don't know what to do. Mm, mm. Yeah, we're going to go west. Because there's more stuff out west. So we're probably going to head out this way anyway. End up in kind of this region. As usual. Although, I, at some point, I want to check out... There's like a radar station around here somewhere. So at some point, I'd like to check that out too. And of course, the uh, radioactive town. I think we'll actually have, for once... A pretty good shot at checking out the radioactive areas. Um, actually getting the equipment we need and such. Because um, we're going to have a little bit more, better time finding loot and stuff on this server. So I think we're definitely going to be able to do more exploring. And uh, that's really what this style of gameplay is all about that I do, you know? It's not running in, finding guns and running out and hanging out at your base all the time or trying to find your lost bike <laughs> you know it's about exploring and adventuring and checking out the whole island and i haven't really been able to do a lot of that so hopefully that changes moving forward right <laughs> all right come to a gas station here immediately we find a car Looks like somebody's completely stripped it out, though. All the doors, all the wheels. It does have an engine, though. So, there's a lot of puppets around. Kind of kind of cleared it out already, but... Look at this. You know what that is? Yeah. It's exactly what that is. <laughs> a hiking backpack. Um, that's awesome. Literally the first backpack we find is the biggest one in the game. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to feel about that. I like it, but at the same time, it almost feels like cheating. <laughs> wow. Fully geared. Not really, but I mean, come on, that's that's a really good find. All right, let's get out of here. This, uh, this area is dangerous. There is actually a beeper over there, too, so. Just going to go around him. There he is. Okay, so my map knowledge is okay, but it's not the greatest. <laughs> that's the uh, weapons factory, not a town. Um... But we'll be going there until we at least have a gun, a pistol, uh, suppressed, preferably. So uh, we're going to have to skip that for now. There's a, there's a bunch of sentries and many, many puppets, and it's just 90% chance of failure. And hey, somebody lives there. Cool. Oh, that's nice. They got like a little path to their dog. Cool spot. Yeah, we're going to keep going. We're going to get to... It's actually way over here we have to get to. We might run the outskirts of the train factory while we're here. We might. See how bad the puppets are. That will be really good loot. Should be. A lot of, uh, a lot of small military loot there. Right. 
there's what we want right there. All those rows of garages. Honestly, there's really not that much else in here. Oh, those could be good to loot as well, though, those warehouses. But this is in the direction we need to go. And it's a good opportunity for loot. Um, and it's also a good opportunity to get killed. There are several beepers that spawn here. And there are puppets that spawn all up and down this row. So, we'll see. Could be going to our death. guys take so much so much murdering all right so it's a little busy but not crazy I shouldn't say that a lot of them spawn outside the wall uh See that? Dude was moonwalking at us. Huh. It's a... It's a pretty good place for a base. Oh, cool, the new helmet. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, that helmet. Okay. Cool. Stuff I've never found before. And the new helmet again. Yay. A suppressor and a couple helmets. Actually, there was a lot of helmets in here. <laughs> there he is. Well, there's another base there. <laughs> I guess all the all the POIs are going to be surrounded. Surrounded by peoples. <laughs> Reapers. <laughs> oh my lord, I'm full. It's a miracle. Face rolls, face masher. Face rolls a cool dude. Check him out. A lot of you probably know him. All right. So as you can see, <laughs> the loot's much better. Much better. Uh, but not... It's not crazy, though. Like, I didn't find a single gun. Um, and I didn't find all that much ammo. I found a couple helmets. I actually dropped one of them, but... You know, it's not overwhelming. It's not a ridiculous amount. 
I'm, I'm kind of happy with it. I think it's actually kind of a nice middle ground but between hard and not pull your hair out hard. <laughs> Gotta change it up every now and then, right? Ooh. Creepy tunnel. Hello? Hello? Well, hopefully nothing jumps out at us here. This is um, kind of scary, not gonna lie. <laughs> Oh my word, it's still going. Such a long tunnel. Oh, thank goodness, I think I see light. The light was a lie. Oh my word, how long is this tunnel? This is terrifying. Imagine if something was living in here. Sprinting. I want to get out of here. Oh, phew. Oh, thank goodness. Now it's starting to get uh, pretty scary, actually. Man, that is way longer of a tunnel than I would have thought. It's like way back here. Holy moly. Oh, the train bridge. I think there's a World War II bunker here. Yeah, right there. We've got puppets around. Somebody's built right next to the, oops, somebody's built right next to the, uh, bunker. Huh. Smart place to build, really. <laughs> Be the nickel in the cup. Neat. Free stuff. Ugh. <laughs> uh, oh, ballista. A lot of free crap. <laughs> That's good. Box of 45. Oh, any needles? Needles, needle, needle. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I don't really need it, but... Let's check this area out. <laughs> that was a very interesting tower, actually. 
Very well done. I like that. All the uh, steps. All the balconies. Very cool idea. Five. Only got so much room, though. Binoculars. Ooh. I'll leave the box of 45. I don't, I don't really need it. Some more 45. And one clip. Um, we're going to take that. All right. Oh, look, they've got a boat. Very cool. Okay. We gotta get across this bridge. Ugh. Oh. Overcooked that first shot of it. <laughs> Having a little trouble there, friend? Yeah, if you eat something bad that your character doesn't like and they get uh, food repulsion, you can actually drink milk to very quickly increase recovery from it. So if, you, if you've only got something that your character is repulsed by, you can still eat it. So, like, I have a bag of wheat flour. And, uh, I can eat a bunch of it, drink some milk, eat a bunch, drink some milk, and be able to, uh, keep myself going. Ooh! Ooh, that's nice. Very nice. Okay. We get a magazine for that bad boy. I haven't seen uh, any 22 in, yet in my uh, travels. wonder how common 22 will be. I don't think you can buy it. I don't think you can buy anything of any particular value on this server, which I think is cool. You have to loot for... I don't know how much exactly isn't available, but it sounded like most things you have to loot. But we'll see. We're going to check out a, a trainer at some point. So that'll be good. That'll be, you know, because I, I hate buying stuff. It feels so cheap. <laughs> I like I like earning it, looting it. So that's a 545 meter bridge. I like it. I like that train bridge. It's one of my favorite locations in the game, really. We've crossed there, and we're more or less on the mainland now. Got some decisions to make. We're in a pretty good position, which is very rare for this early on. So, I don't really need to loot anything more at the moment. What I really should be focusing on is finding a place to live. Where? Where is the question? Alright, so... We did go in through this town a little... A little tiny bit. Just to kind of see. Got a jacket. A couple other small things, so... A little bit more storage is... Is not to be complained about. But yeah, I think now we're just going to kind of go north. <laughs> this guy's just got 
a boatload of free stuff. Uh, a chainsaw. <sighs> Guys, what do you think? Should I, should I take something? He says it's all free. Doesn't have any guns. He's got guns in here. What? That's insane. I'm going to take some 22. Does he have the magazine for this guy? That's really cool. He's got a bunch of free stuff. No Kruger magazine. Now, I could trade one of my guns and take one of his that has a magazine. I could take a 1911. Oh, wait, what about you? You got a magazine? Nope. He's got 1911 magazines. We'll take one of those. Nope. No 1911 magazines. I'm not taking the MP5. That'd be OP. <laughs> I took some 22. I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh, I'm going to take the needle, though. Raid, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Hello, hello. Thanks for the free stuff. I only took a little bit. Have a wonderful day. Cool stripped out cars. I really like this part of the map. Well, this sort of biome, if you will, with these tall trees, foresty, almost, almost English countryside-ish, almost, pretty nice. gonna drop our starter axe for that there we go our first weapon first fireable weapon just a single shot 22 but pretty cool kind of want to shoot that puppet <laughs> I want to shoot something. I never get to shoot anything. Yes. I missed. Eh, he saw me too quickly. I think this is it. I think this is where we're gonna live. This is a very cool spot. So I'm thinking main house here. Put a little garage down here for a car when we get one and uh, go from there. I like it. So the reason I like it, water, town, major military. Major military. Just good stuff all around. 
and probably lots of people too. I've seen quite a few bases on the way. So I think this is gonna be a great spot. And it's pretty, like it's a nice tucked away little, you know, got a walking path here. It's just a neat spot. Yeah, we're gonna clear it out of puppets and get started. Get some storage and a flag down and stuff like that. Someone living right up there. That's fine. I don't mind neighbors. These neighbors I mind, though. I don't like these neighbors. <laughs> They're loud and stinky. Rude. Very, very rude they are. Oh, it's kind of a nice view right here. Cool. Oh, another needle. Oh, and that reminds me. Make a sewing kit now. Now I can make two. There. Found everything we needed in town. Scrap metal, cloth, things like that. Got ourselves a flag made. Um, yeah, we're just going to put like a simple 4x4 four four house here. But the sun's going down, so I don't really have time to do that before it gets dark so um yeah next time we join the uh, server you guys will see a little something here i'm not really 100 percent sure where i'm gonna go with the build yet i'll probably expand that way since it's kind of open but uh yeah for starters we're just gonna have like a small little nothing here really but yeah that's gonna do it for this one guys um i hope you're enjoying the change of pace a little bit more loot a little bit more uh exploration definitely looking forward to that um we're definitely not uh i'm not like upset with skinny pete's server i really like the extreme hardcore survival but it's it's not easy for me personally to make youtube videos with the settings that his server has so um yeah if any of you guys from skinny pete's server are watching and i know a couple of you guys do occasionally uh it's nothing personal. I love that server, and uh, I'll definitely still be playing it, but I'm going to try and make a series on this server now. So, uh, but yeah, check this server out. It's um, Simply Survival PvE, and uh, check out Skinny Pete's server, too. Uh, Skinny Pete's Survival Isle. Uh, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.